a guy walked up to Jesus the Christ and said, good master, what do I need to do to get eternal life? Let's see what he said, read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? He said, what are you calling me good for? Read. There is none good but one, that is God. So Christ and God ain't the same, they two different beings. Okay, read. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So what do he say you got to do? You got to keep the commandments. So, do, uh, do you know any of the commandments? Did the, did the brother just read you one? I'm gonna show you something. This is a real easy one. Give me Leviticus 11. This is real easy. So, how you get, how you get, how, what, 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 is, what is one of the commandments of God when he got it? Because Christ said, you know, yeah, okay, that should not kill, that is not, that should not steal. Okay, but check this one out. This is real easy right here. You can do this. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it out. In the swine, huh? though he divide the hoof huh? and be cloven footed. What is a swine? A pig. You know what a swine is? A pig. So it's talking about the pig. He said, though he be cloven footed, read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Their flesh shall you not eat. So, what's up? You keeping that command? You don't eat pork? You eat pork? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going in on it. So, guess what? If you wanted to keep that commandment, what you got to do, bro? You got to stop eating. And you know how serious it is, God? You know how serious it is about eating unclean food in Isaiah 66? Yeah, yeah, it brings sickness on you. But also, Christ said, when Christ come back, I'm going to show you something. Isaiah 66, uh, well, 15. Listen to this, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. Read. Bring it out. Behold, the Lord will come with fire. Because they think the churches teach this Christ is going to be coming back, hugging babies, and all that. Like, you, know, you see the president? You see the president? He's he doing all this crap, and he hugging babies. That's how that's how the church teaches you that Jesus Christ is coming back. Yeah, that's lying, bro. Christ ain't, he say he's coming back with fire. Read it again. For behold. The Lord will come with fire Read. and with his chariot huh? like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind. Whirlwind is violent, right? He said he's coming with his chariots like a whirlwind. The chariots is those UFOs. He coming back in the sky. Okay? Violent. Read. To render his anger with fury huh? and his rebuke with flames of fire. So he's going to be angry. Why he going to be angry? It's going to tell you. He's going to be pissed off. He's not coming back. Hugging little white babies like they show us on TV. Read. <laughs> For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Read. You see what he said? He said, by fire and his sword. What's a sword? It's a weapon. 
It's a, it's a weapon. He's going to plead with the flesh. He's going to plead with the flesh. Read. And the slain. Are and the, the what? And the slain. And the what? And the slain. What is the slain? What slain mean? Slain. Did somebody slay you. Yeah, slay. Slay. Like, yeah, he slayed a dragon. You heard that? Slay. He said, in the slain of the Lord. You remember, he coming with he coming with fire and violence, right? Uh, and weapons. So what are you going to be doing with that weapon? Read it again. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. In the slain of the Lord shall be many. So he's going to kill a lot of folks. Why though? Read. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden. Now the gardens of these churches, back in the day, they used to call them gardens in the Bible days, because they just set up these idols in a garden area. Okay, so read that part again. They that sanctify themselves. So what they what they, what people say when they go to church? They say they're getting sanct sanctified or cleansing themselves. They that sanctify themselves in these churches, read. And purify themselves uh -huh. in the garden, read. Behind one tree in the midst, uh -huh. eating swine's flesh. Uh, what? Eating swine's flesh. You see how these people that be in these churches eating swine flesh? He said he gonna slay them people. Read. And the abomination. And all the other abominations that they eat. Read. Like shrimp, crab, lobster, all that stuff is abomination. You don't go to eat that stuff, man. That's abomination. Read. And the mouth. And the mouth. Like some folks, folks eat stuff from the mouse family. Like the, uh, like you eat possum. You know you eat possum? You eat pasta. Damn, bro. You, gotta that. <laughs> you eat raccoon? Yeah. Bro, that's evil, bro. You can't eat that. That's not a mouse family. He said, if you eat that stuff, he gonna kill you. Read on. Shall be consumed together. What does be consumed mean? So when Christ comes back, he got a weapon in his hand. Yeah, he gonna kill you. He gonna kill you. So you can't do that. Read. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Now give me that one in Isaiah 60, uh, I think it's 62, about the smoke in his nose. Is it 62? 63, 63. When that is, start at like verse two. 63 verse two. So hey, bro, you gotta stop eating the squirrel. You eat squirrel dumplings or something? Yeah, I used to shoot them up the tree. And eat them. You still do that? It's been a while since I ate a squirrel. No, you can't eat no rabbit either, bro. That stuff evil, bro. Oh, you can't eat no rabbit? 65, give me two. 65 and two. Well, you can't eat that. You see that? You hear that, bro? You see what Christ said he gonna do if you eat that swine? He's going to kill you, bro. You got to repent for that thing. Now, listen to this. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 2. Uh -huh. I have spread out my hands all the day unto the rebellious people. To a rebellious people. Because God, he always tell our people, stop doing this. Stop doing this. That's what the Bible about. He, he went to the Israelites. He sent prophets to them and tell them to stop bringing his laws. That's what the whole Bible about. But in the churches, they, they tell you it's about getting 10%. That ain't what it's about. It's about keep his commandments. Right. Read on. Which walking in the way that was not good. Read. After their own thoughts. After their own thoughts. People walking. That's like in these churches. You got a church on every corner, right? But they walk in their own thoughts. They be like, oh, oh, God don't care about that, young man. God don't care about no pork. Sure he does. It's in his law. God don't care if you eat no squirrel. They don't eat meat. Yeah. They look better. They live longer. That's true. That's true. Now, hey, a lot of people don't eat meat now, but it, it's not a sin to eat meat because it, he gives us a dietary eat, law. I don't eat meat from animal dead. Like, like, like pig, they don't sweat. Yeah, you don't want to eat no pig. Yeah, no you, you need to eat the animals that God says clean in the Bible. If you eat animals, you eat the animals that's clean. Not vegan. You, if you want to be vegan, that's on you. But what I'm just saying it ain't a sin. It's not a sin to eat meat, but it's a sin to eat pork. That meat okay, right okay. there, bro. You they gonna freeze up out here, bro. You can't even learn. You're freezing in this job, bro. I finish that up for this brother right here. A people that provoke me to anger huh? continually to my face. When you eat pork, you provoke God to anger continuously to His face. Every time you sit down to eat that bag of skins or fat back or uh, 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 what else, ham hock, pork chop, all that stuff, read, whole ball. ball. Now, I ain't saying that it don't taste good, but it's evil against God, read. And sacrifice, and sacrifices in gardens, huh? and burning incense upon altars of brick, read. 
which were made among the graves and lodged in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh. Which do what? Eat swine flesh and broth of abominable, of abominable things in their vessel. Read. Which say, stand by thyself. You see that? So they eat, like in these churches right here, a lot of the, I can see the black woman right now with these big hats on, right? Yeah. They eat swine flesh and they got broth in their vessels. They got the abominable stuff in their vessels. Yeah. And they, when we go out here and talk to them with the Bible, what do you think they say to us? Y'all crazy, I'll come over here. That's what they say. Because, you know, imagine us trying to teach a first lady in one of these big churches. They ain't gonna hear us. They ain't gonna believe, they ain't gonna believe us, are they? Read it again. Which say, stand by thyself. That's what they say to us. Y'all get on back over there. Y'all crazy. Y'all stand out front of the stove. Y'all crazy. I like Read. My job. Read. Come not near to me, uh -huh. for I am holier than thou. That's what they say. We holier than you. Read. These are a smoke in my nose. God say he pissed off with these folks. Okay. He said they're smoking his stuff. What's the smoke? When you got smoke coming out your nose. You mad as hell. <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, bro, you gotta leave that pork alone, man. You gotta repent, bro. What is nature? Nation is men leading by example.